Hello, good morning. Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the uh, 21st of March 2018. Just bringing you a review for Wednesday's trading session, the 21st of March. Okay, so in terms of um, in terms of the uh, the actual market starts this morning, of the Asian markets certainly lower overnight. U.S. markets did manage to recover, certainly shaking off the concerns regarding the Mueller investigation, protectionism, etc., etc. Okay, also concerns regarding Apple shares as well, certainly hurting. And obviously, we've got the Facebook fraud going on at the moment, where they've been illegally illegally utilizing that data to manipulate the elections, manipulate Brexit, and obviously create extremism and polarization within a country. So it certainly seems like. There's some orchestrated, uh, obviously, uh, activity going on in the background, which is quite uh, evil and deceitful. But that's the status quo, and that's unfortunately it's a failed democracy. Really, uh, a lot of Western countries now, a lot of failed democracies, manipulated by the highest bidder. You can certainly control the uh, the thought process and the uh, the, uh, the the uh, public sentiment and opinion if you control what they consume. So again, if you um, if you want to manipulate a nation, it's very very easy. You can do it via social media, which obviously has been has been the case with regards to Russia manipulating the U.S. election, and now who God knows who was manipulating the U.K. Brexit. I mean, there could be some evil forces that play that one Brexit, so that it creates disunity and causes the U.K. to obviously uh, go into uh, demise. Okay, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, now in terms of um, the uh, technical picture, let's see exactly what's happening here. I've taken a long position on the FTSE, but certainly underwater at the moment. FTSE certainly not reacting well thus far. Uh, to the uh, the employment data that's just come out with regards to the UK. Uh, wages, certainly a strong wage growth, certainly there, okay. Inflation, as we already know, is certainly weaker, and uh, and jobless claims certainly, uh, well, jobless rates certainly falling as well. So certainly not being interpreted as being bullish so far. Okay, so uh, in terms of uh, the rest of the day, uh, in terms of economic data for the remainder of the day, uh, we're basically um, looking towards... U.S. existing home sales data, we've got the Fed Powell speech and then obviously the Fed FOMC Monetary Policy Committee. And again, it's expected to be raising rates there, so keep an eye out for that. OK, and that really is the uh, the main risk event for the day. In terms of the technical picture, daily chart of the German DAX, keep an eye on that inverted head and shoulders formation. Let's see if that can transpire and that can certainly play out. 60 minute chart on the German DAX at the moment, still holding that uh, FIB retracement resistance. So. Fib high, fib to low, and you are also holding that fib 50%. You do have that unfilled gap that needs to be closed at 12.390, so let's see if we can certainly close that. 10 minute chart at the moment, uh, again, you're, you've made that double bottom now. Again, you're just making higher highs and higher lows. From my perspective, you're still holding previous resistance equal support. Okay, so let's see if this market can push higher back up to that 12.340 zone and close the gap at 12.390. Okay, so keep an eye out for that. Also, you've got the inverted head and shoulders formation as well. So just bear that in mind. You've got the left shoulder here. Okay, the head's already been put in. And you've got an left right shoulder you're consolidating now from my perspective. So you're looking to push higher. Now, if you project the pivot low to the pivot high, uh, let's just uh, draw this technical pattern. Okay, so you're looking at pivot low of around 12.180. Mechline. 12,300, so you're looking at 120 point move, so you're looking at 12,420, which in turn obviously equates to that gap being closed. So keep an eye out for the German DAX, look for a potential reversal. In terms of the French CAC, uh, again, we're certainly building a base here, uh, a daily chart as well. Uh, from my perspective, looking for a higher low now, so I've actually made that double bottom there. So from my perspective, certainly bullish. 60 minute chart, still holding previous resistance equals support, horizontal support. So watch out there, we still have that unfilled gap that needs to be closed above. So watch out for that gap to be filled here. You see you've got double top here and horizontal resistance there. So that's basically what my aim would be. 10 minute chart, again, same inverted head and shoulders formation. So same type of pattern. Let's see if that uh, certainly transpires now. Okay, from my perspective, you've got the left shoulder, which is here. Okay, you've already put that in. You've put in the uh, head, looking for the right shoulder, reversal, and then obviously looking to close that gap. Looking to close the gap at 5280. And the next resistance zone you were looking at is around the 5300 zone. So 5280, 5300, that's exactly the gap that I would expect to be closed, okay, in terms of the next move on the market, okay. In terms of the other areas, just to clarify, again, FTSE 100, let's look at the FTSE. FTSE certainly is in free fall at the moment. Much, um, obviously, again, it's not help, the uh, employment data certainly didn't help the FTSE. Um, certainly looks like uh, the, uh, the FTSE certainly interprets that as a potential uh, rate hike. Uh, again, we did have weaker weakness in Lloyd's Day as well. 
But nevertheless, uh, especially with oil prices as well, reaching the $64 region, you'd expect the FTSE certainly to be reversing higher. That hasn't been the case. Also, with regards to its European pairs, European pairs remain strong, while the FTSE remains weak, which is kind of very interesting. Uh, let's just say that for, for now. In terms of the 10-minute chart, obviously, we've gone, we've broken lower. The next real level now is Pivot S3, which is at 7,000, so it looks like it wants to revisit 7,000. I was expecting to get a double bottom to hold, hence the reason why I went long. Uh, looking for that gap fill to close around the 7060 and then we'll potentially test 7080. We did have an inverted head and shoulders formation brewing on the FTSE as well. And that certainly has, has failed to transpire. As you can see, we've, we've broken lower. So FTSE certainly remains very vulnerable, even with oil prices uh, moving higher. Certainly has failed to uh, to benefit at all. OK, so again, let's see how that transpires as well. OK, so again, be flexible. My stop loss is in at around, let's just have a look. My stop loss on my long positions is around... 7007 so obviously that is uh, stopped out then i'll have to reassess but i'm certainly expecting that gap fill to close at 7060 and then looking for 7080 so certainly will be forced to reassess okay so i think that's a good summation really last but not least euro stocks again looking for that double bottom to hold there at 3390 looking to build a base looking for that gap to close above at 3430 3437 a uh, 10 minute chart give you an insight here as well you've got the inverted head and shoulders formation you've got this uh, higher highs and higher lows at the at present that's what's in play uh, basically uh, here we go higher highs higher lows and looking like i said to that gap to close at 3440 so watch out for gap fill above that's my target on the upside okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and also be sure to download the latest trade signal app goodbye now.